like, oh, this one is out to master today. We're gonna do something a bit different today. So, as you may know, you saw me getting the box of fun for myself, you know, during the live sale. Then y'all know what's gonna happen. Today, we're gonna see unbox the fun kind of box of fun! And to help to get this, I decided to wear this shirt for fun days and I I go like it's just perfect for this video so here's what's gonna happen and I'm about to show you right now look at this massive box right here I mean I'm not even joking this is freaking huge like you can fix you can fit so many things here you can fit like six to twelve packs of Funko Pops even more bigger Funko Pops or oversized figurine. So yeah, get this box in the mail. Keep this box so you can do some future trades and all that. I mean, this is freaking huge. Come on, can you imagine if you fit like like a bunch of Andrew drinks or something like that? I don't know. It's uh, anyways. I'm just gonna show for now. And what I'm gonna do? One minute. Let's open this sucker. So here we go. Cutting the side. Yeah, come on. Yeah. All right, come on. Work with, work with me here. Come on. Don't fail me now. I got the box of fun. I want to see some fun. Ooh, here we go, people. It is soapin. Ooh, oh my god. Oh, I can always smell it. So I'm gonna have to put this to the side. And I gotta show you one at a time for each individual item. So let's give it all these bubble wraps. Okay, first of all, we're gonna start with this one here. I know what's gonna be in it. All it says is one piece, so. Here we go. Oh, I see. So yeah, this right here is the official Funko Pop I got, but it's inside right here. And it tells you what, what you all get. But you already know what I got, because you saw it during the live sale. However, there are the four individual mascot. There's the Funko Force, Pop Rangers, Proto Punks, and the Fnatic Fury. So, now during the first sale for the Wall I heard that Fnatic Fury was so out while the other three were not so out. Obviously, it has to do with the ridiculous high price tag, which had to be at $100. So, yeah. However, during the other sale, which was available for everybody, it did sell out. So, now I'm going to carefully remove the plastic. Alright people, so after it took a while to open it and they added a sequence to the box, which was a disguise. So I had the pot right here and the Funko Pop we're going to view is... The Proto Punks. Now, I ain't gonna lie, this looks awesome here. I mean, just by looking at it, they add so much work into it. Like, they add so much work that I had to get the people at Funko a thumbs up. Actually, not a thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Because you wanna know what? I absolutely love the design of this pot. I mean, this obviously looks like something out of the, an 80s movie. Like, I ain't gonna lie. He could be like in a summer movie, a. Just what? I I know what else what to say. All I can say is that this looks awesome. So, just by look at it, this is one of the mascots for the. The Funko Pop Fun Days or Fun Con, so I ain't gonna lie, I kind of like it. They add so much work into making this. I do not know why, because now this weapon is all pink and black. Well, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, it just looks amazing. So just by looking at it, he's got like a black vest or a black jean vest thing, or what you call it, some. Pants with holes in, in the knees, some spike boots and all that. A belt with a belt buckle at the Funko icon, you know, the big giant crown. 
a wallet chain and some tattoos that says put a pus and he's doing this and a spike bracelet and one with some piercing wings on his eyebrows I don't know why people do that and a spiky hair now I ain't gonna lie I kind of like it and not to mention that there's only one to, to five thousand pieces for each mascot so if my calculations are correct there will be about 20,000 pieces so and I'm supposed to read this from the back so it says rude crude and full attitude just few viewers use to describe Funko's most notorious band of walking rebels the proto punks if mosh pits misfits and madness make you sing then the proto punks aren't gonna make you be your thing like it just said this right there on the back so Here's a here's what I finally feel with this Funko Pop. I like as it were the design of this pop. Like, I wanna know how much skill they had to do to carve, white, and mold into everything in this pop. Actually, you know what? To get all the review about this, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10, but just perfect right here. It's just absolutely perfect. So let's put that to the side. And let's see what else we got. I uh, feel so we got this mystery envelope right here, and I'm soon as gonna feel with goodies right here. So I'm gonna open it. Ugh. Oh, not that sticky stuff. I don't like my hands getting sticky. Alright, here we go. Oh, we got someone right here. Well, so we got ourselves. Yeah. Well, so we got ourselves an official Funko pen right here. Now, I ain't gonna lie, but those who don't know, I used to collect Funko pens in the past. And that's still collecting? Yes, to this day. So, I ain't gonna lie, this looks so well made that I actually gonna put this into my jacket or jean vest which I'm about to get one real soon I mean just look at it they add so much work into this that I have to give them a thumbs up for this so I actually want to cover some details of it and not to mention that skull with the the baddest haircut I had ever seen so I'm going to give it a actually you know what I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 for this so let's put that to the side and see what else we got Alright, people, so for our next um, we got ourselves a band now on here. Now, since this is already in a bag, you know, keep it from the dust out. I'm gonna open it and see what it look like. Oh, I thought that's gonna be some strong tea or glue or something. Alright, here we go. Ooh. Actually, this may be a bit of a problem. It feels so thin. Oh yeah, look at that right there. Just look at how beautiful this thing looks. I mean, look at it. They add so much artistic, artistic to the design right here. I mean, you got the skulls, the Fun Days logo right here, the Fun Day games. <laughs> I mean, this looks like something you. This looks like something that's been made in the streets because that's where the pump pucks live. I mean. You're living in the 80s or 90s, then you know. <laughs> but the only downside is that it feels so thin. Like, what you don't know is that from my point of view, I can see like the light come through this thing. So that's gonna be a bit of a disappointment. So, just by looking at it, I like the colors and details, not mention the bar wire that's around it. Now, the only downside is that it feels too thin. I actually have another thing down here. Hold on a second. There we go. This way it should look like right here. And it's not too thin, but it just feels just right. So for this particular item or the bandana, I'm gonna get a 
Well, I'm sorry at this point, everybody. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. For... And the reason for that is because it feels too thin. Like, it's like a... I'm not sure you can even use this as a mask or anything. So, let's put that to the side. For our next item, we got ourselves the Bam Bam things. Now, for those who don't know, those little Bam Bam things are those things they use in sports festivals. You know, when you go to like a soccer match or a football match, you see one of those palm things or inflatable stick things and you cheer on for your fair team during the crowd. So what's gonna happen is that I'm going to inflate this thing, but I'm not gonna use my mouth. I got like a little pump thing for it. So this might only take a moment. All right, Bill, so after I uh, inflate these things, I ain't got why like, this looks so much fun right here. So as you can see here, it says Fun Days 2021 and it says go put the pucks. Go put the pucks. And then you just do it like this. Well, you know you see these on like sports game, right? Like, when you're in the crowd. And now, I was going to wish you use my pump. You know, the basketball pump you used to put your, you know, your they just fell off. So as I was saying, I was going to wish you use my pump, you know, you used to put your basketball, football, or whatever. However, it came with this teeny tiny little straw, and you do not want to use it because, well, this is the only thing that it will go through, right? So make sure you read the instruction real well, okay? And I just, uh, it took, it told me to, Hold one each other and hit them together. So that's why they're called Bam Bam. So that's why they do this. So that's why they call Bam Bam. So I ain't got like it looks it looks pretty fun. So I'm gonna get a score a 10 out of 10 for these bad boys right here. Those look like one of those inflatable amounts you get out like a dollar store or one of those Price going for in a pizzeria or something like that. So let's put that to the side. All right, girls. So this is gonna get very serious. So as you may know, now I already decided to untape this or use my boss card because well, I can control myself. I also two did that to Funko. So here's the thing. I heard that there's gonna be a few more things in there. So keep that in mind. So I'm gonna open this box and then we'll go see what's inside. So the first I'm going to review, not the first item, but the next I'm going to review is Torchy. Now, I've never heard of Torchy before because this is a special edition. That's why there's no number on it. Torchy is supposed to represent the, the person who holds the flag and then one after another they'll travel from country to country, state to state. And then when they finally get to the Olympic Games, they will put up the fire pit, you know, that little thing to light when you light up to stop the games. And when the torch is lit, the games has officially begun. So, just by looking at torches, was torches represent, you know, the little torch thing that they do at the Olympic Games. And which I would have just said that. And I just like the fire right there. Now, my only disappointment is that I don't wish that little flame hair thing will glow, you know, glow in the dark, but it does say glow thing, it's just, just a women edition, so that's a bit of a disappointment, but I ain't gonna lie, this one's kind of cute, alright, and it's all silver white, including the crown, which represents the Funko logo, so, I want to kill the details, not to mention the flame effect, which is, doesn't glow in the dark, I'm gonna get a... I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna give it a score a 9 out of 10. So let's put that to the side. For our next time, we got a sell is the Pop Podium. Now, you know I would see this in the Whippet Games, and you are correct. This is actually to rank each Funko Pop in your collection. So this may be, a, this is supposed to represent the top three Pops in your collection. It could be like any Funko Pop, and expensive Funko Pops, but the, you know, the top three. So where us be the your top three anime pops, top three cartoon pops, top three most expensive pops, how you want. Now, keep this in, keep this in mind that Very Funko says, enjoy your official pop point and wink your very Funko pops every Tuesday. And your pal, 
Freddy Funko. So, I'm going to do this. I'm going to open this. Now, keep this mind, it does not come with pops inside. So, that's why the box was so skinny. Hmm. Alright, here we go. Uh, why did I have to SL tape? And here it is right here. Now, I ain't gonna lie, this looks beautiful right here. I mean, now you know you saw this in the Funko shop, which is blue and white, but this right here is black and gold. Not black and yellow, black and gold, because I like the shiny fit on this thing. So, what you do is that you know you push your pop on however you want, right? We should say that plate that the pop puzzle was number one, and then torture was, well, number two right here. And I like the way how they stand, because it holds very, very well. And just for the third one, just for fun, I'm going to add Darth Vader right here. Oh my god, it's about to slip. And yes, here is right here. So I ain't going to lie, this will perfect for anyone who is an Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, how you want. I highly suggest you get one of these and you were lucky enough. So, for the Funko Podium, or however you call it, I'm gonna give it a, a 10 out of 10. So let's put that to the side. Ah. Alright, girls, so let's go get very serious. I only got one more item left, and it's, it's gonna feature two people that have been around for generations. Alright. Alright, Bill, so for our last Funko Pop, or should I say, Funko Pops, we get ourselves Brian Mar Mari and Mike Becker. Now, I don't know who Brian Mari White is, but I don't know who Mike Becker is. And if anyone can tell me who he is, let me know in the comments down below because that will help. Because I have no clue who Mike Becker is at all. But I know who Brian Mari is because he is the CEO of Funko. I mean, the big boss man himself. So I ain't gonna lie, these look beautiful. And just by the looks of it, there are the official, you know, the, the announcers of the Fun Days event, you know, the Fun Games. And I ain't gonna lie, it just looks so amazing to do the epic post for the fun games or fun days. They sound the, they sound so the same like that. I'm so confused. And I, I, I kind of like their outfits, especially Brian Myers. I mean, he's doing the epic post right here, saying that let the fun games begin <laughs> or the fun day games. I how I keep messing up. Let me rephrase that. But the fun day games begin. Alright, so I got that out of the way. So, I ain't gonna lie, these look so beautiful right here. I mean, another mission that will welcome right there. The fun day games. I wanna know how long did they take that to paint that? But it looks so small that they have to use special glasses to have like a built in magnifying glass that, that is adjustable. Why well, I wanna know who is a painter that does all this. So I here's how I find a few of this funk about like the colors, the details, the microphones, the paint. I'd give it a 10 out of 10. So let's put that to the side. Alright, feel so I hope you got good at everything. Now I ain't got my I am super satisfied with my purchase. If you were lucky enough to get a box of fun, then congratulations. You just got yourself a box of fun. And I hope you have fun everybody, cause that was just intense right there. Like so many. All right, people, so before I end this video, I got some news for you. Now, unfortunately, because I did not get a box of now, unfortunately, since I didn't win the second wire for the FunCon, now this is what's going to happen. Usually, on Thursday, I post my new new episode of Football Thursday. You know, 
the series while I play all video games and such. Well, that's been postponed until next week, alright? I did we apologize for that because I want to get my... I want to try my luck on FunCon, alright? So I hope you understand that and the new episode will be next week for sure. So... Yeah, that's about it. But I'm so sad with my purchase. I mean, that is just a lot of stuff right there. I didn't expect that the box to be huge, so... Yeah, I hope everybody enjoyed that. So, I guess that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye! <laughs>